Hello again, friends of Bob's Barn Workshop. Well, we have a new project today, but it's a project that I've worked on before. Uh, remember last year, I had, a, uh, had to weld up a pinhole leak in this. Well, what is that we discovered since that it was leaking like a sieve, and it had, uh, this is the lawn roller. And this cap was welded on here, but the water was gushing out around it. So uh, I ground the welds off, and this is what I find. There's no pushing, and the whole shaft is rot rotted through, whatever. So I have got to create a big washer-like patch with a hole big enough for the shaft and enough to get out here into good metal. And we got to weld that up. And while I'm at it, I'm going to knock off the cap from the other end and uh, put a reinforcement on that because if that one's gone, probably the other one is. And if we get a chance today, we'll get around to start working on the tailgate and putting this trailer back together. I didn't even do anything on it last summer. It just sat here. I'm ashamed. All right, let's get started. All right, so here's a little explanation about what's going on here. You can see... The shaft is rusted free. Well, if I let it sit with no weight on that shaft, it opens this gap up where the old weld was a lot. But what I did is I shimmed it up so it would stand up straight, but I put a piece of plywood under the middle so it puts some weight on it. And now if I push down on it, it holds an almost perfect position here. So I think what I'll do first is I got to clean this all off and I'll give it a couple of quick booger welds. Sorry, a couple of quick uh, touch-up welds just to hold this in position. And then I'll grind this all off and I'm going to uh, make a big washer out of something here. I've got some steel. Steel. I just hole saw and cut a hole that big. I think that's, I don't know, 7 8 Maybe I can find something that will washer at the hardware store that's the right size. But I'll have to think about it. All right, that's what I'm planning on doing. I got to clean this all up with the with the flat disc and get it ready to weld. All right, the hard part I'm having grinding is getting this really clean. I mean, it's got the rust off, but it's, the metal's like black underneath. Is that still bad corrosion? I need to get. The other problem is, is where it's so rusty down in this crack where the weld is on the old shaft. I don't know if you can see that. I got to get that bead cleared somehow. I guess maybe I'm going to end up wire brushing it by hand and filing it. I don't know. I shall try to do what I can do. Um, I had a little. Wire brush here somewhere. I know I was just looking at the other day. And I don't know that this will be fast enough to do anything. Uh, I found that I think a stone works best for this. Now, I've got it ground pretty good for rust. Rust is our, not our friend. Uh, here. So I'm going to try to push this down in as far as I can and see if I can touch the shelf without standing on the extension. So I think my best bet hitting right there. If I can get that hump, hump what hump? <sighs> Frankenstein. I can get that. So 
so great, man. Let me help. Doing this shit. There we go. All the way on after I booger weld this in place. Yes. Pretty much. I still think I'm going to weld the washer first. Maybe not. That'll be fine. Time to dig out the welder. So it might be a little hard to see in this contrast. Maybe I'll go over here with you. See a little better there? Yeah. I laid the washer. I pushed the uh, shaft down. I pulled it up. Now it's bouncing all over. Until it comes up in the center. center up. I've got a little gap around it. I've got the ground clamp on the the bottom of the shaft and uh, I've got my little farmhand welder here. Probably should practice but I'm not going to. <laughs> Typical me-ish. I just want to do a, a tack. To locate it. That's a pretty good weld. Now I need something to push this down with. While I tack this side. Once I get my hands free, I'll be able to, because i got to make this, what the hell is wrong with that? Not enough power, get the sucker on high. I got shielding gas. I just don't want to blow through. I like it. Yes. Don't look at it. We're going to let that cool for a while. Let the machine run for a while and cool itself. Whew, and I'm going to stop sweating for a while. Well, I ground down the welds, and uh, any place that looked like a little pinhole or a perforation, I went and re-welded. So you can see the nicely redone uh, beads on top. Now, this is going to be covered by a cone, so I don't really need to grind those welds. So I'm going to leave them, 
They look fine. I'm going to brush it up. I'm going to paint it with some Rust-Oleum after I get done welding the rest of it, of course. i got to go get my handheld wire brush and, and lift that shaft up as high as I can now. And uh, maybe I can put the cotter pin in there and wedge some wood under it to pull it up far enough that I can tack one side. I think that's what I'll do. I got the cotter pins that came with it over here. And if I stick a cotter pin through, maybe I can jam a piece of wood under here to pull that up. All right, well, I'm going to let this cool a little while longer, and we'll be back. So I did as I suggested and um, set it up on the plywood on the bottom to help push it up. And then I've got the cotter pin in here and I jam these pieces of wood in there and that's really tight. It's as good as it's getting and as long as it's going to get. So I'm going to put a bead around here first and I'll take the wood out and finish the rest. And this side will be patched. And then we're going to do the other side just for good measure. And all of a sudden it's hot. It's been in the 50s. All of a sudden it's 85. Feels it anyway. I think I'm going to put this on high. Oh, you push, don't you? I'm going to do it from this side. Good job at Just burn the wire off. I say it's welded. It's damn good. I'm going to leave the machine run for a little bit, let this cool. Um, I'm, before we do a water test, I think I'm just going to fix the other side. But as I said, this, this dome thing goes over the top uh, to space out the pole drawbar, and it's just held with two tacks. So it sits on there like that. So I'll just flatten it out and we'll tack it back on there. That is very hot. I gotta touch up the paint first. I'll put some rusto rusto oleum on it. <laughs> but it ain't gonna leak as much as it was leaking if it leaks at all. I gotta let it cool a little while, I think. What I'll do is I'll block it up so the water's tipping this way so I don't have to put a hole. You can see the rust that's gotten in there over the years. Alright, we'll go on pause. Side number two. See, and I'm roasting now. This will be perfect. I should do it.
and I can see how it's supposed to look. The question is, should I mess with it? <laughs> doesn't look rusty at all. I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I don't think I need to do anything with it. Don't fix what ain't broke. Right? I'm going to spray paint this up. See, that's what they didn't do at the factory. didn't paint it so therefore it rusted let me wipe that down with some acetone here lack of thinner lack of thinner ah don't you just love that feeling of Sweat in your eyes. Mm. Nope, Bob's just going to booger this one right back together. There's nothing wrong with it. Even up next to the shaft, it's not rusty, which is where the concern was. All right, guys. Although that is kind of a weak spot because. It's just thin sheet metal. My problem being, which I have many, is that the washer's not going to fit anywhere near right, flush. All right, up pretty good. I got to get this job done. I got errands to do this afternoon. Grandkids to pick up. Yada yada yada. Parental, grandparental duties. Anyway, so we're just going to tack this back on now. Just gonna let that fill. So I did find a couple of uh, more leaks. So I'm gonna weld them up, and that's what we're gonna call it good. Just two little pinholes. All right. Those are the two places which I saw some leakage. All right. Well, I found two more little pinholes. So I'm draining her out again. I'm going to fix them. I'm not even going to test them because I know where they are now. We'll come back. Okay. Two small pinholes to weld up. I ground off the paint already. I'll do this side first.
This one was just a tiny, tiny leak over here. All right. I'm calling it done, because those were the only two leaks I found on the second test. Let that cool just a minute. And uh, I'll hit it with some paint. I built myself quite a knob here. Take this hood off. Mask, shield, whatever. Tested, leaks fixed. I'm happy. My client's happy. My brother, my son-in-law. <laughs> I gotta bang that down a little bit. Bada boom, bada bang. I tried to fit this Maybe I should pound this down. that better. All right. I gotta scratch off some paint here. That's because I'm just gonna... The paint's gonna burn anyway. I don't know if I can or not. Remember, I gotta set this back in the lighter, much later. Now I'm gonna put it on low two. paint on it that's why it's fugly but I want to get it done it's tapped I think oh shoot I've never never even hit steel over there oh well wait a second I'm out
<laughs> it ain't purdy, boys. It ain't purdy. We can purdy it up a little bit here. If you want a big, better picture, bring a better face. <laughs> Holds true for a lot of things. All right. Close enough for a yard roller, ain't it? I should have taken more care with it, but I didn't. I just need to go find a big washer. So I think I'm going to run over to Central Tractor and we'll put this thing together, all right? I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to get this thing assembled. I got my big washers. I got new bushings for the drawbar, which I'm hoping they're not hard to pop out. Let's see if I can pop those bushings out. Maybe I can just wrap on them a little bit. They're just pressed into the... Yep. I'm going to have to use a C-clamp or something to press them in. too bad, I guess I'll save them. Then I'm going to grease the crap out of these shafts before I put them back together, of course. Alright. New bushings. Maybe a little closer now. Try to see as much as what I'm doing here. Let's see. They have to obviously go in from the inside. So we'll see if I can wrap it in. If I can't, I'll uh, use a clamp. to hit your fingers. Notice I'm just going in a ring around them. Ring around, pushing. Let's see if I got any axle grease in here. Ah, well. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta go get the grease. Back with the grease. Mmm, this is gonna be fun. This is wheel bearing grease, so this is a wheel bearing of sorts. of it just with some of my fingers All right. that'll be enough paper towels paper towels I know they're here somewhere I got some ginormous one inch washers at the tractor supply. So we're good to go on that. I'm thinking there's the spare one that I use. I'm thinking I could just start one side on it. And then, now I guess I gotta get it. There we go. Pull this guy out. And get him over. And this guy, pop him on over. Oh, easy peasy. Put on the ginormous washer. I'm gonna put some more grease under them. Whew! Still hot here today. Only says like 78, but it, oh man, it feels hot to me. That's hot for an old man. So I'm gonna put a little bit right under here. left is the cotter keys, cotter pins, whatever you prefer to call them. Again, I gotta find something to wipe my hands. This is so gooey. Gooey gooey. I know I got paper towels out here. Probably a crap load of them, but <laughs> blind and lying, can't see out of the other. Seems like, oh, there they are, they fell down behind the sander. All right, now I can get a little more clean. Now I set the damn cotter pins down. I don't know what I did with them. There they are. All right, brainless. There's the hole for that one. This one's a little tighter on this end, but that's all right. It'll be fine. Oh, I want a photograph. I'm going to put a glob right on that. That one is a little tight because, uh, as you remember, that bushing for that rod had fallen back inside. A little bit when the weld broke. So 
so oh that's fine all right guys I'm calling this one a wrap I bought a new uh, drain plug for it but I'm gonna use the old one until we need to replace it and now my hair is if you didn't notice my hair is horrible so I have got to get a haircut this afternoon absolutely imperative because I'm going to the lake tomorrow for a week and I'm not getting my hair cut while I'm up there there we go guys this is the way the plug works you just shove it in the hole, and this is this is threaded. And when you tighten the screw, it makes that tapered uh, plug expand. Good for another 10 years of use or so. What do you think? I'm gonna leave the plug out so she drains and cool and dries inside. Because that's what rotted the other one out, I think. Oh my goodness. Hell we get old folks. Hell we get old. All right, guys and gals. Been a beautiful day in western New York. My apple trees in blossom almost. Buds are going to pop pretty soon. We'll have a beautiful pink tree. And uh, time to be doing summer things. Okay, we're on our way to the lake. Everybody take care. God bless. We'll see you next time.